Okay, so really quickly, I just want to explain um, how easy it is to figure out the sigma bonds and the pi bonds, just because this is something that may also show up, something very uh, easy to get and easy to also skip over in your textbook. So I want to make sure that you have this down. So yes, sigma and pi bonds, it can be very intense. And when they talk about molecular uh, orbital bonding, that the electrons fill into these molecular and these hybrid orbitals, that you can get sigma and you can get pi bonds. All you need to know is the very first bond that you get is a sigma, sigma bond. If you have a single bond, you have a sigma bond. Everybody say single sigma three times. Single sigma, single sigma, single sigma. They both start with SI, so it's really easy to remember. So a single bond is a sigma bond. Pretty easy? Okay. So if we're looking at this, this is called a sigma bond. And the symbol that they use is this right here. Uh, so they use that for the sigma. There, that would be a sigma bond. And there, that would also be a sig sigma bond. The very first bond, or, this, or a single bond, are called a sigma bond. Okay. Anything after that would be called a pi bond. It's that easy. So if you have a second bond, if you have a double bond, or if you have a triple bond, these would both be called pi bonds, okay? So this is called your sigma bond and your pi. So in total, out of all of these, in total, now sometimes what they'll do is they'll give you one large compound and they'll say how many total sigma bonds and how many to total pi bonds are present, okay? So it would be one huge molecule. But if we looked at this and I told you, I wanted to know how many sigma bonds are in total and how many pi bonds in total out of all of these. On the count of three, I want you to tell me how many total sigma bonds you see. Ready? One, two, three, go. Three. Three of them. There are three sigma bonds. And on the count of three, I want you to tell me how many total pi bonds there are. One, two, three, go. Three. Three. One, two, three. Okay? So that's all you would have to do. So a sigma bond, again, is simply a single bond. That's all you really need to know here. And a pi bond is any additional bond. Okay, any additional bond, and in parentheses, I'm gonna say bonds. Because it can be two or it can be three, um, whether you have a double or um, a triple bond, you can have a second or a third bond. Okay, um, and uh, that's basically it.